If it could have happened another way, it probably would have. I had to make peace with that because a lot of the times who we are is already formed when we come down into this particular existence. But it is through different interactions with other people and other relationships that we experience different things and different events that shape us and mold us into who we were already destined to be. The problem is, is that a lot of us tend to hold on to the pain from the impact of that chiseling out. And if you look in the wild, evolution usually only takes place under duress anyway. Your survival has to be threatened first before you just change. A species never changes unless it has to. And in writing stories, the thing that I've learned is based on the character's personality and how they're kind of formed and made, that is going to determine exactly what it is that they need in order for them to make an about face. And sometimes it's going to take repeated occurrences before they finally make the change that they need to. Because again, evolution has to make sense more so than anything else. And in order for it to make sense, they mean they literally need to have no other choice. So the message today is to make peace with some of the things that happened to you. This doesn't mean you got to reach out to the people who hurt you. This doesn't mean that you got to, you know, suddenly turn into Mother Teresa. But the idea is to take a look at who you became as a result of the things that you've gone through. What superpowers were unlocked in yourself that probably wouldn't have been unlocked under similar circumstances? And how can you use those powers that were unlocked in order to do things that is in alignment with what it is you truly want to do while you're here? Fulfill your purpose and unlock yourself. And forgive all of the mess that took place in the meanwhile because it doesn't make sense to hold on to it. Because again, if it could have happened any other way, it probably would have. All right.